Gravel is just a different way to ride a bike. I don't think there's one specific element of the spirit. It's, it's whatever you want it to be. And I think that's what's genius is you can literally ride your bike anywhere with anyone you want, however you want. There's no limits. It's just create your own adventure. It's really inclusive. Everyone's invited. And if people can find joy in a different way and find their connection to nature, find a way to kind of get away from cars, to kind of just change their overall course. I mean, every time you hop on a new gravel road, it's like a matrix that the world opens through a hundred new roads that you never knew existed. I think if we look at the overall like, history of gravel, you know, it doesn't just start, you know, a few years ago when this sort of bubble started. It started a long time ago and, you know, it's a bit like the story of Camp Agnolo where, you know, they came out with Ekar and then hashtag is born before roads. It's the original riding sort of began in France and Italy on roads like this. So for me, it's a little bit of a return to the history of cycling. And I don't think there's anywhere with more history of cycling on gravel than here in Siena. here in Bon Convento. What a beautiful place with my good friend Giacomo. We're in the Campagnolo pit stop. I'm just checking out my race rig for tomorrow before the race kicks off. I feel quite lucky to be on this bike tomorrow. I just rode it today on some of the course and it was delicious. The, uh, the whole thing is basically a piece of art in my opinion and I'm not going to tell you all about it. I'm going to leave that to Giacomo but the one thing that I will say is when I first raced mountain bike and I did all the years in the World Cup. I was also racing with fulcrum wheels. I had the old red metal zero. I don't know if you remember the wheel. It was magic. And these are just as good, if not better, gravel specific. And I just love the Eckhart system. For me, it's the, it's the greatest group set in gravel racing right now. So I'll let Giacomo tell you about it. You just experienced today. So with Eckhart, we, we found this setup for you. So you're running on the 38 tooth chain ring in the front and you have a 942 teeth cassette. So means that on the, your longest gear with a nine cog, you can really, really reach high speed. And also, if you're gonna need the sprinting, then you're gonna have, you can put all the power that you want on the pedals and the crank set. And again, on the steep hills that you can find here in the Strade Bianca, you you might also need some easy gears. Yeah. So with the 38 in the front and the 42 in the rear, you have a, an easy gear. You can climb up and save your legs for the sprint. Do some dancing. <laughs> yeah, why not? And also the, the other funny thing. Uh, the thumb shifter that you have in here is going to really help you also when you're going downhill you're going to be very stable on your handlebar and of course when you're going downhill you know campagnolo disc brakes you're you you already tested today and all along yeah. your career they're very powerful you can really modulate your braking and match it with the wheels today you are um, you're riding on the full from the rapid red 3 so you have an internal width of 24 millimeter. So this is going to really be helpful for you to absorb all the obstacles that you're going to find on the dirt and uh, on the on the Strade Bianca actually. And so match it with uh, the same 24 millimeter width. You're going to have a quite a light setup also for tomorrow. So perfect for the racing. And uh, well, of course, there is this uh, piece of art, beautiful piece of art uh, from the Rosa, yeah. the carbon frame with this special painting. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited mainly because I've always done Strada Bianchi on a road bike. And at the end, your risks feel like they've just been in a boxing fight. So it's going to be nice to finish tomorrow with some comfort. My back not too sore. 
and also in style. Ciao, guys. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> I think cycling is the only sport in the world that can mix the elements of the old history of the sport with all the emotions, the traditions, the colors, with this new ability to have the finest engineering and bikes that are purpose-built for performance, something that we love to ride that's safe and we can go really, really fast. But not only is cycling cool in this way, I think gravel takes it to another extreme. We started riding bikes on gravel before we had roads. The original Giro d'Italia and Tour de France stages were mostly on gravel. So for me, gravel is coming back to kind of like a natural history of the sport. And when we combine the pure spirit of the style, the fashions, which basically have no rules, you can do what you want. It's, in, it's invent your own opportunity and style. And I think that ultimately bikes are a freedom machine. And when you have the freedom to be who you want, to look how you want, and to ride where you want, I think this is the real spirit of cycling. <laughs>